In this recipe, I'm going to show you how you can connect up a four-digit, seven-segment LED display to a Raspberry Pi. This is the display module that we're going to be using, and it's actually um, got some built-in electronics. It's got a chip on the back that actually drives the display, and the four pins on here uh, provide power to the display and also um, allow it to interface to the Raspberry Pi using the I2C bus interface. Um, this is a module produced by Adafruit and they actually have quite a range of different sizes and styles of display in different colours and all sorts of things. So it's quite easy to connect up. Um, all we need to do is provide it with power. So let's connect up the ground first. You can see the, um, the pins have a labelled plus, minus, D and C. So plus is for the positive power supply which is 5 volts uh, minus is for ground so we'll use a blue wire for that so let's get those two plugged in so we'll use the ground over here on pin 3 and we'll connect the plus to 5 volts okay now we just need to connect up the data pins. So on here, the, uh, the D pin, this one here, is for, goes to SDA, which is the second pin down on the left-hand side. And finally, we've got this pin here, which is labeled C, which goes to SCL, which is the third pin down on the left-hand side of the GPIO connector. Okay, so that's everything wired together. Let's have a look at the code. The example code that I'm going to use to demonstrate this display is actually provided by Adafruit uh, to accompany the, um, the, the display module. So it, it handles most of the interface work. Um, and um, you'll see here a, a URL where you can download all the Adafruit example code for the Raspberry Pi that includes this particular uh, example. So we'll change directory to the Adafruit code library where this all lives. And if we have a look in here, you can see there's actually quite a lot of different things. And the one we want is the Adafruit LED backpack. If we have a look in that directory, we'll see that there's a few um, example programs for different types of LED display. And the one that we're going to try out is actually called um, ex7segmentclock.py. So this will be this will display the time on the seven segment display. So we need to run it as super user. So we do sudo python and then ex underscore seven segment clock dot pi. And when we hit enter, we should see that the display is now. Let me tilt that up a little, displaying the current time for us. Let's have a quick look at the code for that. We can open up the program in Nano. This uh, is quite well uh, documented code, uh, so you can sort of wade through it and have a look and see how it works. But most of the work is taken care, care of uh, for us in this library. So we import the seven segment library, and then if we scroll down the code and just have a look at where we start to use things, we can do things like this. We can do segment.write digits zero and then give it a number and in this case that would be the the tens of hours uh, so you can set the individual digits separately to separate to uh, a number um, you'll notice that the digits go zero one three and then four digit two is actually used for the colon display in the middle there's all sorts of other uh, functions available in the library that allow you to do things like control the brightness of the display to make the display flash and change how fast it flashes and various other different effects that you can apply to the display. So that's how you connect up a four-digit seven-segment display to a Raspberry Pi.